what is Classroom 2.0 and why is the EdTech community so hooked on this idea? Now before I break it down, I want to say that Classroom 2.0 is where most EdTech uh, programs and initiatives are, are heading towards and it's because it is the most logical way for schools and districts to leverage their educational technology investments. So this is the um, this is the fruit of our one iPad one to one programs or BYOD programs. This is what it's all about. So while there is no one single definition for Classroom 2.0, most seem to have these components involved. And let me break this down for you one at a time. It's not too difficult. First and foremost, there's some way to measure students' um, comprehension data in real time. So as students um, answer questions about whatever it is you're teaching, their understanding is broken down into quantifiable charts and data that's being beamed over to the teacher so they can see um, immediate results of how their students are getting at, uh, whatever it is they're trying to teach. There's also uh, a mechanism to adjust based on that data. So if you're seeing that, oh, um, all of the boys sitting in the front row are not paying attention or are se seemingly not getting this concept, I can take a couple buttons and it will re redirect um, the the course, the, the lesson. So with a couple buttons, I can double back and refocus on some content and make sure everyone gets it before I move along. Or if I see everyone getting it, I can skip further or move a little faster. So you can make adjustments based on the data that you're getting. In addition, uh, the plan on what a lesson we're working on and where we're going and where we've been, it's all very transparent. So all of this data is being linked to the map of what we're trying to learn. So as I'm answering questions, my data is being linked to my current uh, learning target as well as uh, future and past. So when I log on to whatever system it is that I'm using, as a student, I can look at my um, course history, see my performance uh, data on each and every um, subtopic of my course. So I can uh, it's transparent, so I can clearly see what's going on, and it's incentivized. So I'm getting prizes, or I'm getting some sort of award or achievement or recognition of achieving a mastery on each skill as I move uh, down it. So it's a, a clear hierarchy of the learning targets that I need and um, a fun way of progressing through that. And, and this is often, often referred to as the gamification of education. Feedback for teachers and students is another big component, and that's um, very, I mean, springs right off the last one. Using that transparent, incentivized learning plan, as a student, I can clearly, uh, clearly identify what subtopic needs help, and I can focus on that. I can go into extra help and ask the specific question that I've been struggling with. Similarly, for teachers, um, when I'm looking at my students' data, I have very clear um, feedback specifically what my students are struggling with and what I should be focusing on for next lesson, uh, and or the opposite, what my students are really excelling in and where I can really push for that higher level of um, comprehension. And because they have that literal uh, understanding in these areas, I can push for a more engaging discussion on this type of question because I can see that they have the prerequisite knowledge. Similarly, for uh, teacher evaluations, when I'm sitting down with my supervisor, I can clearly say what I've been doing, where my students are struggling, and we can have a more fruitful discussion about where we should go from here in order to fix um, some of the lapses in comprehension or to really focus on what I've been doing right um, as to show all of this um, green data, all of this, um, all of these areas of my students where they're really showing strong um, understanding. 
differentiated instruction, and this is a no-brainer with uh, all of this high tech, we can have very meteor rich um, lessons. Sometimes we're reading, sometimes we're building, sometimes we're watching, sometimes we're discussing. The activities, because um, it's so mobile and flexible, can be very um, diverse and we can appeal to many different types of learners. And that's an easy one. And last one, not only it goes into Classroom 2.0, but ultimately this is what we're trying to get at. This is the biggest one. So all of this, all of these previous points mean nothing unless the student work uh, is looking better. So we are looking to have the student's demonstration of their their summative assessments. Instead of just being a standardized test, we're looking to have a demonstration of better understanding from our students. The, their, the proof that they're getting it needs to be more exciting, more engaged, and more academically rigorous. So we want them to have um, something more than just a bubble filled out. Or may, maybe if we're just if we're keeping it with multiple choice, we're looking to have very exciting, um, challenging tests that they absolutely crush and demonstrate extreme amount of grasp of, of the material. Now, naturally, I'd like to go beyond the multiple choice test, but my point is that w the goal of the Classroom 2.0 is to demonstrate, is uh, the students understanding in such a phenomenal and exciting way that it's clearly evident that this is the most powerful learning environment.